I can't believe I'm doing this video. <laughs> What's up, my beautiful hype beasts? Today, I'm going to be answering the age-old question of, uh, where did you get the off-white strap? Ooh, ooh. But before we continue with this video, I do want to state that I have the utmost respect for Virgil Abloh, his brand, his work, and his legacy. Virgil Abloh's impact on streetwear and fashion as a whole cannot be understated. So even though this video is going to be a bit more lighthearted and poking fun at the hype beast aspect of fashion, I just want to remind everyone that it's a joke and I have complete respect for the artist and his work. So with that being said, where did I get that strap though? So to be clear, if it wasn't obvious already, this isn't any official collaboration with Off-White and any strap brand. It is in fact a DiMarzio strap. I'm pretty sure you guys can sort of see the logo. But basically I just painted um, the Off-White logo with the diagonals and stuff on a DiMarzio strap. And uh, I guess I'll teach you guys how to do this. <laughs> Well, first of all, again, you need the DiMarzio clip lock strap. I chose the DiMarzio clip lock strap specifically because of the industrial buckles. So it looks like the off-white belt. Another good thing about this strap is under the DiMarzio logo there, there's actually stitching in a cross pattern. So you guys can actually use this as a guide for painting in the arrows. Now I chose black because it's actually easier to correct your mistakes and I'll show you guys how to do that later. But if you guys want to flex your art skills a little harder, you guys can actually opt in for the yellow strap and then paint in the details in black. Now other than this, uh, you'll need some art supplies. I got a paint palette and some brushes, acrylic paint. And last but not least, you'll need black marker. Now make sure you guys have a working surface. Now that you guys have all your materials, let's get started. First of all, make sure that your strap is at the desired length because it's gonna affect where you put some of the details. Now the easiest part to paint first is probably gonna be these little straps here that connect to your guitar. The second part is probably going to be the ends of the strap. And lastly, the hardest part is probably going to be the guitar strap with the quotation marks since you can't really use a guide for that. I'll start with the ends of the strap here. So first of all, make sure that you're gonna be painting on the correct side, which is this side. The side with the metal stud here is the back of the strap, which is gonna be connected to your guitar. So you put a dollop of paint on your palette. Oh shit, that was close. <laughs> so painting diagonal lines on this here strap. All right, you guys don't have to be perfect with this because again, I'm gonna show you guys how you can fix your mistakes. I can already tell that I did this completely shit, but it's okay. Just happy times here, just happy thoughts. While this is starting to dry, let's move on to the strap. Let's again start with the end of the strap here uh, where we can continue to draw diagonal lines. One thing to make sure here is that you're painting the diagonal lines in the same direction throughout the entire thing. So uh, this is me going from bottom left to top right. So next up is going to be the arrows and the DiMarzio logo. Basically you draw arrows on each of the four corners and then draw a connecting line between each corner. Now you don't have to be completely neat again with this part because what we're gonna actually do with the markers is we're gonna draw in the outline of the arrows and all the details. So it's not gonna really matter too much if this part isn't that neat. Lastly, I'm gonna cover up the DiMarzio logo with the white paint. Now, this isn't to knock DiMarzio, they make great pickups and great guitar accessories, but I mean the off-white diagonals logo has that top bar as well. So just gonna copy that as best as we can. So this part, I'm going to freehand guitar strap and then put quotation marks on it because irony. I'm just gonna do what feels right. There's not really a science to this. Let's make sure it feels good. There's a small detail you guys might wanna consider when you're doing this is that Off-White uses the Helvetica font. So if you guys really want to, you guys could like print out a stencil of that font. Make sure you guys spell this correctly as well because that'd be embarrassing. So as you guys can see, I fucked up, but it's all good. Now, I made my guitar a little bit too big. It's heading towards the strap buckle here or the adjustment uh, clip here. Now, what I could do is I can put the strap part behind this adjustment. So it's gonna be here, but I think that's gonna look pretty cool. So let's give that a try. Holy shit, painting this is requiring 100% of my brain power. And last but not least, it's the quotation marks. So. 
nice and the last little bit here nice damn that looks fuego as fuck my guy so with the black marker go back and try to fix out some of the areas where you think it's not neat for example here i think that probably a bit too much white so i'm just gonna color this section in black all right it's starting to come together a little bit all right so i figured out a few things <laughs> if you guys are attempting to do this uh, make sure to use a standard whiteboard marker instead of a permanent marker i think it works a little better since it's a bit more wet but basically now what you want to do is uh use the marker to sort of like scrape off the white bits it's supposed to color in pretty nicely but i think i haven't waited long enough for it to dry completely but as you guys can see this bottom line is starting to look a little bit more clean and again if you guys mess this part up it's no big deal just go back in with the acrylic paint and paint over your marker mistake so you guys can keep doing this until you get some clean ass lines all right now i'm moving in on the arrows here and it, hopefully things will work out see how it's like sort of cleaning up the lines here it's not doing that great of a job right now i think again because the paint is either too wet or too dry <laughs> from like a far distance you guys probably won't be able to tell if you guys have any more tips for arts and crafts please put it in the comments below it sort of looks okay now right and now for the hard part which is the lettering starting to clean up pretty nicely now it's actually not that bad there you go the guitar part looks not bad it looks like the thinner the paint the easier this will be so make sure not to lay on too thick of a coat you know what that's not bad that took me like maybe half an hour and uh compared to the original all right it's a bit too big <laughs> i guess that's where you guys can learn from my mistakes because this uh this is pretty thick so uh there you go that's how you make the off-white strap but if you guys actually want to support polyphia then there is the Polyphia X the Marzio collab, right? You guys can just get that strap. 10% better tone guaranteed if you buy that strap. Probably. But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this stupid video. More content coming soon. If you guys want to check out my other videos, uh, my quarantine EP is out. So you guys can check it out on my YouTube channel. Uh, my quarantine setup video. And I think I want to do some song breakdowns for the songs in the EP. Uh, showing you guys how I wrote the riffs, how I mixed the songs, how I dialed in my tones, stuff like that. And I think it'd be fun if I did a live stream for that stuff. So uh, if you guys want to check out the live stream, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You know, the YouTuber stuff to make sure you get notified when I stream. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. That's where I'm most active. And uh, I think that's it for me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.